Shepard of a Shepherd of a Savior of a soul, Lover of a soul. We are on the Lord's Of this, we thank you, we bless you, we worship you, Lord. Mm. Here we are, the fourth day of the sixth day revival vigil. Lord, the Bible made us understand that Martha and Mary sent a message to you that their brother was sick, but you tarry still because you know when to do what you want to do. Lord, just as your daughter was saying yesterday, I am tired now. Yesterday. And maybe in your mind, in you, you said, no, not yesterday. Today, I will do something about it, my daughter. Lord, we have come before you again. And I know there are people you have decided to touch tonight. There are people you have said, my apostles, disciples, let us go. My friend Lazarus is dead. Let me go there. And I will raise him up and prove to the people that I am the resurrection and the life. Father, we are here to hear from you. Whatever we need to do to be delivered, to be free from the enemies, to be what you want us to be, in order to see you in glory on the ladder, which is the utmost priority of every true believer. Father, Say it to us tonight for our ears are open. Speak to me and speak to me to the end that we all will be blessed. Satan, you are cast out from this vicinity. And everyone that's been connected to Mary Kingdom, everyone connected to whatever kingdom you are connected to, and you are here, I disconnect you from that kingdom right now and I connect you to God Almighty in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. After this Amen. service, you will not be able to connect back to that kingdom again. You shall permanently be separated from death forever in Jesus Christ's mighty name. I pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. But then, when the Lord gave me this message today, I was saying, Ah, why this message? Upon all what you did yesterday, upon all the manifestation, upon all the deliverance, upon all, all the word you spoke to us, you mean we can still hear such a message? If I bring out this topic, there are many people that will say, ah, no, it's not me, it's Ferdinand. It's not me, it's Emmanuel. It's not me, it's somebody else. What is the message tonight? The message before us man, is titled Let us genuinely return unto God. Let us let you can put it to yourself let me genuinely return unto God. Somebody may say, I am already with God. I've genuinely returned unto God already. Then I will ask you this question. Uh, the Bible has said in Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 9 to 10, do you actually know your heart? 
Do you actually know yourself? If the Lord is saying, my daughter, return to me, you are saying, I'm already with you. What about if the Lord show you the mirror of yourself and show you how my far away you are to him, what will you do? If you think you are so close to God, in your carnal mindedness, and at the end of the journey, you find out that you were very, very far from him, what will you do? So if I were you, I will not be pointy figure saying I believe that person is the one they are talking to. I will not be saying in my heart, I am already with him. Because Sister Grace Amma, you never can tell how far or close you are to God. Brethren, when it comes to this issue of backsliding, when it comes to the issue of saying some people are backslidden, the topic about backsliding, the topic about return unto God, many will be pointing finger to those who were once in faith, but they are no more. To those who were once singing, but they are not singing anymore. Those that were on the mountain, I used to read the Bible, but they are not on the mountain again, they are not reading anymore. Some people be pointing finger to, okay, I know one, one man of God who used to preach, but it's not preaching anymore. They will forget their, their own selves and start pointing finger to everybody. We, I mean we now, we are quick to justify ourselves in this case because we think we are still standing. We are quick to justify, it's not me. How can I be preaching as an apostle and this message of backsliding will be talking to me? It's not me. I believe it's Sister Koji, not me. How can I still be in evangelism and you are telling me about whatever, backsliding? No, I believe it's somebody else. The Bible told us in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 10. 1 Corinthians chapter number 10. Please come, Mr. Okay, because these people here. Yes. Proverbs 12. Say, so wherefore? Wherefore? Let him that think it, let him that is so sure of himself, let him that think it is standard, take heed. Take heed. Lest you fall. He that think it is standard. And meanwhile, you are evil crawling on the ground. If the Lord does not open your eyes to know that you are sleeping. And let me say this. Is evil a sin? For you to be sleeping, you are thinking your eyes is open. Is this sin to sin? For you to be a dead man, you are thinking you are alive. And that is what is happening today in Christendom. Those who are already dead, they are even buried, they think they are turning. So he that ticket, his son, take heed. Yes, before. Brethren, it is written in 2 Corinthians chapter 13. 2 Corinthians chapter 13, from verse 5. To examine yourselves. Well, this is the question. Even if you examine yourself, how far do you know yourself? Examine yourself. Whether you be in the faith. Then I quickly come back again. How far does Sister Mercy know herself? How far can you examine yourself and say, yes, now I am right with God now. Now I am okay with God. Now, now I've examined myself. Ah, yes, I don't lie anymore. And yes, I don't, I, I don't fornicate. Fornication that was very far from me. How far can we examine ourselves and be justified before God? But it is written here, examine yourselves. Whether ye be in faith, prove yourselves. Prove your own self. How can you prove it? 
if you prove it with yourself, you, you give yourself 100% mark. If you set the exam for yourself and mark it by yourself, you cannot do better than you know. Is somebody getting it? Yes, sir. If you set exam for yourself, if the answer you know you put there, you will set it, mark it by yourself. That's why in this race, the day this program makes me understand that in this race, there's something that's paramount. Emmanuel, you are free to teach. Ferdinand, you are free to teach. Maybe you are even free to set exam, but you are not free to mark it. Is somebody getting me? Right, sir. You can teach. Maybe with your ego, you can still set exam for people, but you cannot mark it. The school we are in this race is the school that everyone we go and stand before one man. Both the teachers, the professors, everyone will write the same exam. Only one teacher will mark it. So we must be careful not to think we are already there, not knowing we are very far. As the Bible says, uh, Peter followed him from behind, a pharaoh. But we are told, prove your own selves. No, you not. Your own selves, how that Jesus Christ is in you, except you be reprobate. But how can we do this with our natural eyes? How can we know where that stain is in our garment if the Holy Spirit does not help us? How can we know we are backslidden? Though we are still singing, we are very far. Those we are in evangelism, the Lord is saying, you are very far from me. Though you are preaching, people are saying, ah, this man is a man of God, he preached well. And God is saying, this man is preaching that he is so far from me. How can we help ourselves? Brethren, I want us to understand something. No one is holy before God. When it comes to asking God for mercy, when you come to saying, return unto me, no one or earth born of a woman is qualified to say it's not me they are talking to. No matter what you claim to be, no one, so long we are breathing this air still, so long we can still drink water, so long you can still wear this clothes that's, that's been created here, no one can justify itself and say, yes, I am holy before God now. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We must never make the mistake to think we are pure before God. Hence, we have no need of asking for mercy anymore. That is the, the most dangerous mistake, the most detrimental mistake any child of God will ever make. That you have grown to the level that you don't need to ask God for mercy anymore. You have rated yourself. Because, maybe because you are leading people. You think you are, be, you are better. It's because you are better than them. That's why you are preached to them. So when they ask for mercy, you don't need to ask again. Your own is to give them the prayer to pray. And you will not pray it. You are already doomed. The day the devil put that mind in you to think you have got to the level you don't need to pray for mercy again, that is the day you are already in hell. And may the Lord God Almighty deliver me and deliver us all in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And brethren, it is written in Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 7. O Lord, thou our iniquity testify against us. Hmm. Sorry, oh Lord, though our iniquity testify against us. Brother, this is Jeremiah saying this. I have told you the book of Jeremiah from the day the Lord called him in that Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5 and he said, I, before, I knew, before I formed you in your mother's womb, I knew you. Till the day he died, I never see where he missed it. It was not written. And it was a one-man squad. 
A man that, do, that did not need anybody's, anybody's encouragement. A man that was always right, right with God. That, a man that God was always a constant speaking with. Yet, the same man here is saying, Oh Lord, do our. Is somebody getting me here? Yes, sir. Do our. Not do their. Their iniquity. Today, as, I, as I read this, I said, God. Jesus, this is a man who from the beginning to the end, nothing was written about him that was a mistake. Every message God sent him, he do it accurately. His ear was always open to God. Not, not like us sometimes, maybe sometimes we dream, sometimes a little vision come, sometimes we hear a little bit. He was always thus says the Lord. He was in constant union with God from the beginning to the end. Yet this same man is saying, though our iniquity testify against us. Do that it for the for the next sake. Not because I am holy, not because I am pure, for the next sake, for our backsliding, for our backsliding, not their backsliding. Not start do best sleeping, but for our past today, are many we have sinned against thee. We have sinned against thee. Our past today, not, not because I am a bishop, uh, it's a, it, 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 you people should pray, pray for mercy. I am Pope of Catholic. Uh, who told you? Who qualified you for that? So what is not saying this? If Jeremiah, who was constantly in union with the Spirit of God, whose ears was always open to God, can say himself are backslidden, can say our backslidden, can say our sin, our iniquity. So, Sister Odirayo, you have no reason to be pointing finger to anybody. Minister Fedna. You have no reason to be pretty figure to anybody. No matter what God is saying through you, no matter the message you're preaching, we, you, I, we, on this mountain, have no reason to think the Lord is speaking to somebody else. Because if 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 two hundred of me come together, we are not each of Jeremiah. What Jeremiah did, the pain he went through. The constant union with God. Hold the way I am and the hundred of me joined together is not each of him. And yet, you will see such a man will be saying, I am holy. You will see such a man be thinking, the Lord is talking to you people, not me. What a foolish generation we are. What a foolish Christian we have today. What a foolish pastors, bishop, whatever apostles we have today. I point finger to people, whereas they are putting on so dirty garments. The Lord will help us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Brethren, as I said before, let us not make the mistake of justifying our errors before God. That is a detrimental something. When you have made any mistake, please, I am begging myself, if not you, don't try to reduce, don't try to cover it up. And, and it was because of a, just need that and start begging for mercy. You know why? At that time, you are trying to say, it was because of, if right to take place, you are doomed forever. You get that? You have made an error. You have made a mistake. Please don't say hey, it was because of a. First of all, settle it with God. Father, I am sorry. Lord, have mercy upon me. Because he said, we don't know 
when the trumpet shall sound, if you want to start first of all justify the reason why it was done, and I, at that moment you are trying to pick up things to justify what you have done, if that one is not yet, you are not yet asking for mercy. That one is not yet mercy. If rapture happen or you die in that instead, you are doomed forever. That's why any true believer. Any child of God who is heavily conscious have no time to start thinking, saying uh, it was because of uh, what the door is quickly ask God for mercy. Uh, Sister Adejoy, uh, uh, you know what? What you did just now is not good. Okay? I am sorry. Oh, God have mercy. Hey, you know, Apostle Manuel, uh, uh, when I was driving just now, I was, I was bowing. I don't know. At that time, you are trying to quickly pick up what makes you to do it. If the truth is sound at that time, you will also be like an Agrippa. No Agrippa? I was almost convinced. Mm. You almost convinced me. I, there are people in hell today saying, I almost asked God for mercy. Oh, Jesus! I almost begged for mercy. I never knew. I was pointing fingers saying it was because of Papa, Apostle Manuel. It was because of that. If I have new just to say, God, have mercy upon me. What God wants to hear from us is, oh, Father, have mercy. It was, sister, the brother that made to do it, God don't want to hear that one. It was and that sister that pushed me. God is not concerned. At, let that one be between her and God. Let who push you. That one is another thing between that person and God. But you, because you were pushed, you have to quickly say to yourself, I am sorry for even giving my back for that person to push. I am sorry. But this is not what we are not doing today. Ego, you, are, you have done something wrong. You want to quickly look for something, even though you are not asking, even though you are not asking for mercy, you will not ask God again with with painful heart, with with sober heart, because you have justified yourself already. Because you have put your mind of the reason why you did it. That is why most of our sin is not is not be forgiven. That's why, even though we confess sin, because we are pointing the sin to somebody else. Because we are connected the to what the reason why we do why we did it, the soberness is no more there. So most of us we confess sin, the sin is not forgiven. Why? Because it's not confessed with sober reflection, it's confessed with things attached to it. It was because Adam, you it was my wife. It was because of the way you gave to me. You have eaten, that's what I want to hear. Hey, Father, I'm sorry. If hey, it was happened, God, I know already that it's something I gave to you. It's you and Him now. Before serpent gave to you, God knows it was serpent. Before the wife gave to you, God knows it was your wife. It's me and you now. Lord, I am sorry. I have so been, I have so been, I have supported you. Hey, no, it was my people. Like King Saul. King Saul, you have disobeyed God. If King Saul have gone down on his knee, oh God, I have disobeyed. I am sorry, Lord. Have mercy upon me. For you to be foolish. See, it was the people that are meant to do it. It's another punishment. So, uh, hey, Ego, you know it was wrong to allow people to push you. So you allow them. Another punishment. That's why I always tell people, there's no justifiable reason to go to hell. Anything you say, in, you know, in those days, in, I don't know if, if they were in the city in Ebola, if police come to arrest you, they will tell you, anything you say, is against you. Is this, is this you over there? <laughs> it's not a different uh, <laughs> Okay. I thought it's only in, in, our, in our side. So, so you, you, you are free to remain silent. For anything you say, anything, anything, will be used against you in the court of law. 
so also it is before the presence of that angel. So also it is in hell. There's nothing you will tell them that will be just said, so long you are out of your body, you have no justifiable reason before them. And whatever you say, we add a demon to the demon of punish the person. That's why, they're cheating. Whenever we do anything wrong, take your mind away, first of all, for what I'm caused to do it. Settle that thing you have done wrong, first of all. The only reason why we think about that thing, Father, help me not to allow it to happen again. Father, please help me so that that thing that pushed me will not push me again next time. Not when you are asking for mercy. I pray, is somebody getting me? I, I hope so. Yes, Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 The Bible told us in Jeremiah chapter 3, from verse 11 to 15. And the Lord said unto me, Jeremiah speaking. Oh, Jeremiah, I love you so much. And the Lord said unto me, The backsliding Israel has justified herself. It was because of this. It was that, it was that. Have justified herself more than Trachiros Judah. Judah. What is Trachiros? A corny man. A crafty person. Somebody who deceives. Somebody who pretends. Judah was, Judah would think, and with God, but it's very, very far. It's, it's crafty. He backslidden Israel. He that backslidden. He said, ah, I thank God. I'm not like, I'm not like Judah, who's, who's a corny man. At least, my mouth is open. I do not open it. Uh, my mouth is open. Everybody know that Everybody know that uh, I am a prostitute. So, I, I can, I, it doesn't matter. Uh, look at that one. It's hiding, it's hiding her own. What the Lord wants to see is you confess your sin. The Bible says, they that compare themselves with themselves are what? Not wise. Foolish. Have you not read it? Yes, yes, they that compare to themselves are foolish. Israel, why are you justifying your backsliding? Thinking you are better than Judah. All I need from you, Lord, I have backslid. They see me back. I'm sorry, I have sinned. That's why David is a man after God's heart. The Bible says, when Nathan went to David, immediately he saw that he was caught. He never, he never started saying, eh, eh, I, oh, it was because, oh, I, I was up there as I look. No, he said, I have sinned. He never talked about what pushed him to sin. He carried the blame instantly. I have sinned. And instantly, I said, and God has also taken away the sin from you. Unlike the other man. It was, not, it was because of people, that one with evil anger go for you to be a foolish person. It's not that anger before the Lord. So are you out there? You are justifying your iniquity. You are comparing your little sin with the, with the bigger sin that you see somebody has seen. So because of that, I am not the one they are talking to. You are expressly the one God is talking to this uh, tonight. You are expressly, directly, this fire is directed to. You must return back to him genuinely. 12 of Jeremiah 3. Go and proclaim this word toward the north. I say, return, thou backsliding Israel. I don't want to hear all those nonsense you are telling me about, about Judah. Return. Where is the sister? It's not here now. I speak to me why in my face. Now, where is, where is she? She's not connected yet. Please connect her, please. I beg you. Okay. Let's record, please. I beg you. Verse 12. Go. And proclaim this word to all the north and say, Return, 
thou backsliding Israel, say the Lord, and I will not cause my anger to fall upon you. If you stay a little longer in thy backsliding, in their claiming righteousness, why you are so dirty? If the anger of God fall upon you, oh ye bishop, oh ye apostle, oh ye minister, the Lord have a time He have put in the place for you to return. If you stay more than that, and the anger of God fall upon you, you are doomed forever. Return, and my anger will not fall upon you. For I am merciful, said the Lord, and I will not keep anger forever. But you can help him to keep it forever. You can ask the Lord to keep angry with you forever. If you refuse to return, unless you return, the anger will keep on boiling. And every day, every minute that, that pass by in dire bastard state, make the anger of God to rise. And if you die in that your backsliding lifestyle, hell, this same merciful father will tell you, I've told you that smoke will rise for eternity. Enter there. And that will not be our portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Verse 13. Only acknowledge that thy iniquity. This is what God is looking from us. I have seen. Acknowledge it. But then someone's crying and say, I am weak, I am weak. But I am tired now. But I am weak. I have sinned. I have erred. I have lied. That is what God wants to hear. Father, I am prayerless. As a Christian, I know I'm supposed to be prayerful. I am prayerless. I don't study your word. Father, have mercy upon me. But we are dirty before the Lord. We are showing clean garments before the people. I can praise you because my, my, my sadness is short. If it's a danger, tell me she's holy. I was okay, you are holy. Okay, I think I say only one. If she's a beautiful maybe to believe she's holy, I will take her as a holy woman. But I tell you something, if at the end of your journey, you are found. You are you are found to be a dirty woman. Is it apostle man? You not cheated on yourself. Is it me? No. Mm -hmm. As close as my wife is, if she make me to believe she say she's holy, I'll close my eyes to to think. I will only be telling her uh, uh, confess or sin. But if she refuse to confess it and say she's holy, I will take her that way. Until the day of reckoning, acknowledge this iniquity that thou hast transgressed against the Lord thy God, and hast scattered thy ways to the strangers under every green tree, and ye have not obeyed my voice, said the Lord. 14. Turn. Oh, bastard children, said the Lord. Turn! No matter how far we have gone in the far country of bastard, no matter how far we have gone in the far country of iniquity, of sin, there is still opportunity to turn tonight. Amen. We can still turn. So Lord, there is breath in our nostril. It doesn't matter how far we have gone. It doesn't matter how far our hearts have gone. We can turn back now. We can amend our ways now. We can do something about that sin now. Let it not tarry longer. Amen. Let not that anger in our heart tarry longer. Amen. Let not that envy tarry no longer. Let not whatever that is pushed not to hell, let that it push us no longer. Let us return. Now, Emmanuel, return. Return. Before. It is too late. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. For I am married unto you. For God himself to say, I am married unto you. For God to say, I am married unto you. And you are committing adultery with other things. 
You know how painful it is. Let me say this now. Naturally, as a husband and wife, even if I am a pastor now, if Mr. Feder come here today, she, he get close to my wife too much, I will still be making, I will still be making, bonk, 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 you should know your, your boundary. <laughs> yeah, know you're the man of God, but know your boundary. Praise the Lord. Yeah, I mean, Even if yeah. he have nothing in mind, even if, if he's shaky, my wife, I will be looking at his hand. Don't bend the hand. <laughs> Don't do anything funny. Shake her straight. Uh, shake her straight. Uh, remove the hand or else. I will fold my trousers. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> this is it. It's natural. There is, I don't know, there's a special jealousy mm -hmm. that is in the mind when it comes to husband and wife. That's why whenever anyone call me now, maybe Saturday you call me. It's a way I position my talk. Of course. Because I know somebody sitting this somewhere. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I know somebody's monitoring every word I'm saying. God is monitoring, but somebody is, is monitoring here now. More, more, more than the monitoring. So I must be careful the way I answer every woman that called me. So that I will not be in trouble. So there will, not be, there will not be strife in the heart. You may ah, I, I, I trust my husband. It's, it's an apostle. I know how will not do it. But I tell you something. There's <clears throat> Let's be careful. That is the same thing the Lord is saying here. Say, I'm married to you. I'm jealous of you. Christians know today the Lord is jealous of us. Anytime we make any move out of his sight, his jealousy will roll with eyes. Anytime we do any sin, anytime we mistakenly go to another husband, you see, our Lord Jesus Christ, his heart will be boiling. Judge the same way the heart of your husband, boy, when the, whenever the wife is doing something funny. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I am married unto you, and I will take you one of a city and two of a family, and I will bring you to Zion. This is what God wants to do. He wants to bring God to Zion as a virgin. Is someone getting me? Yes, no matter how we are dead before, now that we are now married to him, we are now virgin. He wants us to remain virgin with us. I said, I am coming to take you home as a holy people without spot or wrinkle. Ephesians 5 and 17. Verse 17. Please, sir. Let's go there. Okay. I hope I'm not mistaken. Ephesians 5. Yes, um, no, verse 29. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So Ephesians 5, verse 26 to 27. Say that, that he might. Sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of the, of water by the word that he may present it to himself, you and I. Are you watching on Facebook? The Lord wants to present you to himself as a holy person. To himself, a glorious church, not having spot or rico or any sort of thing, but that that. It should be holy and uh, without blemish. Whenever we are gallivanting with sin, it makes eyes to be red. And the problem in this generation Christian that will we'll, we'll be committing adultery and thinking all is well. We are sleeping with different men every day. Is this spirit with me? We are sleeping with different men every day while our husband is watching. We are thinking, eh, it's a merciful God. Eh? Eh, Apostle Manuel, he does not fight. Eh, I can't do anything. Eh, there's a limit, you do it. I will fight you. Eh, my God is a eh, God is a merciful father. And he has money to you that give yourself to other men every day. Who, who, who is that man that will be so that will be so that is foolishness? 
any man that will marry to a wife will see the wife doing nonsense, give you access to other people, you are still smiling, you are a fool. So also the wife. So many Christians today are calling Jesus Christ to be, I want to make sure it, God, have, God forgive me. Amen. That is what you are calling. Say, it does not matter. And you only see the heart. It's no problem. You are using your body to seduce men. You are saying it doesn't, doesn't matter. Men are using, using their eyes to sleep with you on the street because of your dressing. You are saying it, does, it doesn't matter. People are put naked in you and sleeping with you because of your dressing. You are saying it doesn't matter to your husband. No problem. If you die in that, your bastard heart, you are saying all is well. You look at my heart. Your heart is as dirty as charcoal. You can mention upon us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In verse 15, he said, I will give you pastors according to my heart. I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. This is what is lacking today. This is the problem in the church today. Many pastors who are still saying their pastor is not God that, 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 that are not there. If God is the one that call you, you will only preach his word. You will only tell people what to draw, draw their clothes to God. You will not be, be bold to say God only hear the heart, see the heart. When you know that God is the one. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Brethren, let us return unto our God. No matter how far we are gone. Let us return tonight. Please don't say, hey, yesterday I know he came down. And hey, yesterday a lot of things happened. Yesterday I, was, I spoke it on. Forget that. There are many people who spoke it on that here now. There are many people who even cast out demons in hell now. Let us surrender our heart to the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, you search me by, by yourself. If I set myself, I will tell myself I am holy, whereas I am far, far, far from holiness. Holy Spirit, search me. I have come. Lie my heart on your bed, Holy Spirit, and search me. That is what the Lord requires of us. Today, let not your heart deceive you. Let not your mind deceive you that you are holy. You are not close to holiness. Hmm. The standard the Lord is looking for. Until the Holy Spirit make you holy, you are not holy. Is somebody getting me? Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us return unto our God, no matter how far we have gone. Hosea 14, 1 to 4. O Israel, O Christians of today, O Mount No Solution and Redemption, wherever you are hearing me, return unto the Lord thy God, for thou hast fallen by thy iniquity. Apostle Man, you are falling in one way you may not know. You are falling in one way you may not know. And the Bible says, if you are okay with everything and you are far guilty in one, you have what? You are, you are swimming in all. Is it James chapter 1 verse something? I've forgotten that. James 1 verse. If you are right, if you are right in one law and you are guilty in 99, you are guilty of one. You say what? You are the, you are an armed robber. Mm -hmm. James 2 10. James, James 2 10. Please, mm -hmm. read, it, read it out. For whosoever shall keep the law, whole law mm. and yet offend in one point, he is guilty of all. Oh. Oh. So, remove your eyes from those you are saying, and because they are not removed hearing. Because they are not doing this one. They are, they are already hell. Oh, he said on that day, if I do, I do talk 
is found in you. If little light is found in you, you'll be surprised you will see earrings all, all over your ears. You will see gone in your hand. You will see blood. He said, see, you are guilty of all. That's why we must not condemn anybody. I'm not saying we should not correct somebody. I'm not saying we should not rebuke, but don't condemn. Because in your condemning anybody, a little thing is in you, automatically that condemnation is, is yours. Is somebody getting me here? Yes, sir. Rebuke is allowed. Correcting is allowed. But condemnation don't go there. In, in any way you condemn anybody, and at that time you are being screened, and sin is found in you, automatically you are condemned. If you are guilty of one, you have done 99. So all the 99 you have done come back to you. That's why to enter heaven with all our striving, we need more what? See. In all we think we are, our need, need to be on the ground every day. Father, have mercy upon me. Help me, I cannot help myself. Keep striving in your striving. Keep asking for mercy. Don't ever think you are already there. But if God scan you, you are found guilty. Hmm. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Verse 2. Of Isaiah says, I want to say, take with you words and turn to the Lord. Say unto him, take away our in take away all iniquity and receive us gloriously. Graciously. Oh, sorry, okay, graciously. So we will render the calf of our lips. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Tonight we have to to the Lord with a word. What is that word? Take away our iniquity. Lord, have mercy. I don't want, to, I have not come to justify myself before you. I have not come to you as an apostle, Lord. I have not come to you as a minister. I have come to you as someone who has sinned. I have come to you as a little child who needs to be purged. Remove the title God has given you. Whenever we come before God, remove that title so that our title will not tie us and draw us into hell. The problem that many people have today, their title has tied them. It's a bishop. Bishop, he have, have, have tied them down. I say, Bishop, hey, if it's sister good, I preach to here now that I'm, I'm confessing sin. Hey, she will not respect me again. How can Sister Deborah? Here another Apostle Manuel is completely sin. The respect is gone. That is the problem. The apostle that God gave to you to come to him have not tied you now to hell. The position that God has given you, ah, and they believe I'm holy. That's why they, they ask me to be reading by, read the Bible on the mountain. And they believe I'm holy. That's why I am doing whatever I'm doing. And for people to hear that uh, I'm doing an uh, uh, introduction, I'm still confessing sin. Hey, it's a letter. For that reason, I will not confess sin. So that people will not think I'm a sinner. You are on your way to hell. You are just allow your... It means you are among those who are promoted to perish. God forbid. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let us do what? Return uh, to God. Hmm. Brethren, I was go, leave with this so that we can pray. I may not take us too long tonight. Let us circumcise our heart before God Almighty. Circumcision is demanded. The first skin of our heart needs to be put away. It's time to add the Holy Spirit to me. You have you ever seen a child that, that doesn't 
-hmm. You know how it is. Okay. You know how, how rough, how dirty it is. That's how our heart is before the Lord. If the first skin is not removed, it's so dirty. So, we must have to do that tonight. So that when the anointing come, you'll be able to penetrate. So that whenever God heals us, the healing will be sustained. Deliverance will be sustained. So that we will not remember to go back to our boyfriends again. All those men we are sleeping with every day. So that we will not go back to them again. So that we will be married to Jesus Christ alone. The Lord will help me. I help you tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh, Jeremiah chapter 4, 1 to 4. If, if not by force, if thou will return, O children of God, wherever you are, if thou will humble yourself tonight, if thou will recognize your iniquity, your folly, if thou will know without the mercy of God, you and I, we are doomed. And return unto God. Say the Lord. Return unto me. And if thou will put away the abominations out of my sight, then shall not thou be removed. Then shall thou not what be removed. It means God is saying, I will not send anybody to hell. No matter what you do, I will not send you to hell, but that will send you to hell. If thou will come to me, I will purge you. But if you refuse to come, I will watch you to enter hell by yourself. The Lord Jesus Christ will never send anybody to hell. Never. But sin does. Iniquity does. Verse 2. And thou shalt swear, the Lord liveth in truth, in judgment, in righteousness, and the nations shall bless themselves in him, and him shall they glory. Three, for thou for thus said the Lord to the men of Judah in Jerusalem, break up your fallow ground, and so not among tongues. Hmm. Circumcise yourselves to the Lord and take away the first king of your heart, ye men of Judah and inhabitants of Jerusalem, lest my fury come forth like fire and burn that none can quench. Hmm. Wow. A burn that no, no can quench it because of the evil of your doings. Let us present ourselves before God tonight. Lord, circumcise my heart. Take away the false king of my heart. Do something in me. I am tired of fornication. I am tired of adultery. Don't you know whenever we sin, we are adulterers? That's why people say, you are adultery and adulterers. Don't you know the friendship of the world is anonymity before God? Sometimes we think it's only when a man go and sleep with other, other, a married man went to go and sleep. No, to God, anyone that sin is an adulterer. Anyone who is a friend of the world is an adulterer before the Lord. O ye adulterers and adulteress, know ye not that the friendship with the world is an enmity before the Lord. I don't know. If you are among those that the Lord has spoken to tonight, you are not saying justify yourself in your way to hell. I want you to go down on your knees. I begin to talk to God tonight. Say, Lord, I have come. I, I am not here to hide anything. I am open to you. Search me. If you, if you ask me to search myself, I will justify myself wrongly. Holy Spirit, do the searching. Deliver me from sin. I am a fornicator. I am an adulterer. 
Because that's how you look at that's what you say I am. Because I have been sinning. Purge me, Lord. As I'm talking to you, we pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I love you. 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 To that man, he said, Okay, uh, he went to go and speak to that woman. So he is an adulterer. Uh, that one is an adulteress. Look at what God is calling you. James chapter 4, verse 4. Ye are adulterers. Ye are adulterers. Not because they are going to sleep with a man physically now. Ye are adulterers. And adulteresses. Know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God? Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is an enemy of God. Mm. So now, if somebody have called and say you're an adultery, an adulterer, what will you do? What will you do? Would you fight? Mm-hmm. Would you fight him? Hey, you call me an adulterer? Hey, I will report to my husband. Is the husband up there that calling you an adulterer because you are gallivanting with the world? Because your heart is with the world. He said, We are his enemy. Hmm? We think we are his friend, but it's, it's say to you now, we are what is enemy. Say you cannot serve two masters at the same time. You cannot marry to two husbands at the same time. Return to me today. I want to say, Lord, of the truth, I have been an adulterer. I have been an adulteress. But I have decided to return to my husband today. Jesus, I have decided to return to you, my husband. Remove the spirit of adultery from me. Every, uh, every spirit of adultery is making me to gallivant up and down, sleeping around father take it away from me i want to stick with you alone my husband, my beloved husband today in the name of jesus christ hope you must have prayed amen Father, in the name of I have abused your mercy, Baba, so many times. I have imagination, Baba, my Baba. I have Baba, I Baba, Baba, please, Baba, have mercy upon my 
they're going to pray. Maybe some of us here, the journey we are journey is too far. We don't even know how to come back again. You have gone so far in the journey of iniquity. There are some women, if you tell them about makeup, hey, if you tell them makeup is a sin, they can fight you. It means they have gone so far in the journey of sin that they that make up. So for people if you tell them it is a sin, ah, don't even go there. Why? But the devil has pulled them so far and he has blocked them from the way of righteousness. They don't even know, they don't even know. They, I know of a sister that time. She has spent many years in Europe. It was after series of prayer we prayed. The day she called, the first thing he asked her, Nigeria, Nigeria still exists. Hey, and I forgot Nigeria totally. <laughs> For many years, he said she did not remember if anything called Nigeria exists. But she was still sending money to some people that are not their parents. They blocked the Nigeria part of her parents from her. They blocked the Nigeria part of her people from her. The only Nigeria she knew now was the Nigeria of people who were eating her money. For more than seven, eight years, she did not remember her parents, her brothers, her sister anymore. The day she heard the voice of her mother, she was crying. Hey! This voice here exists. I did not remember I gave her a mother. Anything called mother, father, brother was off my memory. The only one I could remember is one of my being. I say, wow. You see, everything I labor for for these seven, eight years was given to that woman. So, so the devil has done so, to so many of us. They have blocked us to remember that it's, called, it's what we call heaven. It's what we call holiness. They have used our makeup, our jewelry, our whatever, our whatever. Our heart is loaded and make us feel all is well. Such people have gone far. They need the Holy Spirit to go and drag them out of the hand of the devil. If you want them to return by themselves, they will never return. So, you get me? Yes, sir. There are people that can never return back unless through the divine grace of God. Some people, their business have eaten them up. They will never serve God because of their business. Some people, their job have eaten them up. Because of the gain they are gaining that job, they will never, they will never serve God. So people working on the other have hold them bound. If you, if you want those people to return by themselves, they will never, they will end up in hell. Those people, they need divine intervention of the Holy Spirit to drag them out of that business, to drag them out of that thing. Some people, they, they are in church, some churches they are now. If you want them to come out of that church by themselves, they will never come out. They will die in that church and go to hell. Unless the Lord in his mercy go into there and drag them out, they will never go. Some of us have some people in, in, such, in some churches now. If you even talk about that church, they, they can kill you. Am I right? Well, I'm very much right. Uh, yes, sir. If you tell them about that church, you can, you can even insult Jesus to, before them. They, they will not mind. But if you even talk, if you just mention their pastor's name, oh, they can fight you. Unless the Lord in his mercy go and drag them out. 
you will watch them enter hell. I want us to pray. Am I in that state unknowingly? Are you in that state unknowingly? The state of no return except by the mercy of God. Lord, tonight send forth your Holy Spirit and drag me out forever, Satan have held hold me captive. Wherever the devil have held me captive, I cannot come out of that place by my own self. Wherever the devil have held my husband captive, Lord, if you wait for him to come out for 100 years, he will never come out. Wherever the devil hold my children captive, Father, if you expect it to come up and say, it will never come out. Lord, send forth the Holy Spirit and drag us from that place. Drag my children, drag my husband, drag my siblings, drag my people out of wherever Satan has caged us. In the name of Jesus Christ, Oh, I pray if you want to. Amen. Heavenly Father, the King of Kings, the Lord of all, Baba Father, please arise in your mercy tonight. Father, please in your mercy, Baba, come and drag me out of God, Baba. Father, drag me out of God in your mercy tonight, O God. Baba, please, I have no power of my own, Baba. Father, Lord, I rely on your power, Baba. Father, in your mercy, Baba, rise to light, O God, Baba. Wherever the devil, Baba, put me, I put my mind, put my body, wherever, Baba, they have done to me and my children, Baba. Father, please, Baba, in that power of me, Baba. Father, wherever they have taken me, Baba, in that of a body of sin and iniquity, Meditation, that wrong meditation, Baba, that was discontinued to another to that patient. Father, no, Baba, Baba, I am taking your person. I was even that pray, Baba, to put my reputation this morning. Father, please, oh God, Baba, afraid of man rather than you. Glad you are sorry, Baba. I can't understand the way I'm Amen. There are some people. Demon is guiding them as angel guide people. <laughs> anyway, they are going, they are demons, I just follow them. Oh. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So people are possessed. So demon is inside of them, making them to do what they are doing, and all that demon are just around. But whenever their mother is praying, they are just busting the prayer back. Mm. They are guiding them and leading them to hell. They are sleeping, the demons are there. They are in the market, the demons are there. And such people, they can be cut off anytime. They can die at any time. And I see the Lord sending his warrior to arrest those demons right now. Amen! Amen. Demons, demons that are guiding them. There are some people, their husband, they have demons following them. They have demons following them. No matter what their husband do, I mean their wife pray, do nothing. Unless those demons are being arrested tonight. Amen. Hey, mm. freedom will come. So I, first of all, I want you to pray for yourself. As I pray for myself. Any demon following me up or down, any demon holding sword following me up and down, guiding me closely to, the, to hell, and yet I'm thinking I am holy. I'm sleeping the night, they are there watching. Please. Do whatever manipulation they are, they are doing. Father, tonight, that fire that no power can resist, that fire that no demon can resist, 
send that fire upon me tonight. Let all those demons be born down. Let them be chained down and be consumed by the fire of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 This prayer is not prayer you, you pray silently. No. This prayer you pray out. It, it's, it, it's a prayer that needs that needs power. The prayer that needs it needs it needs, power, it needs fire. No, 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 no. There, are, there are varieties of prayers. This one needs anger. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, Hallelujah. Now, now pray for yourself. It's not it's time to pray for your husband and for your people. Every demon following my husband up and down, following my wife up and down. That monetary demon. Monitoring him to make sure he never repented. Monitoring him to make sure he never accept what I'm telling him. Monitoring him to make sure he never said yes to Jesus. You that monetary demon. You that monetary spirit. Today is your end. Whatever contract you enter into with my husband, with my children, with my wife, with my people, that contract is here by broken. I say be consumed by the fire of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. It's a name of special deliverance. What special deliverance? And when you are able, when you are when you are when you receive this deliverance, every other ones will follow. Amen. Other ones we are delivered from other ones. Uh, this one is still there. I tell you, you, you can only be free for some time, and uh, you will be loaded again even more. Let's see this one together. 
Deliver me, O oh God. Deliver me, Deliver me, oh God. Deliver me, oh God. You are there, just add a lot of come to your life. Tell him you have come today. Please just say after me. Please, we other, if you know you, uh, those who are born again before, I want you to still be praying, Lord, tonight you will touch me. Tonight you draw me close to yourself. Tonight you will chain me to yourself, tie me to yourself. Draw me, no matter how far I've gone, draw me. And if you know you are not born again, please say this word after me. The Lord Jesus Christ. I've heard your word. I am a sinner who was living in the far country of sin and iniquity. But your word has found me out this hour. I accept your word. Please forgive me all my sins. Wash me clean with your blood. Pull away from me the garment of sin and iniquity. Remove the chains of death from me. Let my name be blotted out for the book of the condemned. And let it be written in the book of life. You are my Lord and personal Savior from henceforth. I am born again now. All things have passed away. And all things have become new. Thank you, Father, for saving my soul. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Amen. Sister, brother, if you have confessed this confession, there's joy in heaven right now. And our Lord and Savior is saying, the pain I went through for such person, my death for him or her is no more event. And I pray, as you have confessed him today as your Lord and personal Savior, you will never remember to go back to your former master again in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. All the grace you need to live a holy life and to see the Lord in glory is released upon you today in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to pray for one deliverance. 
we have prayed that the demon outside guiding us, pushing us for God to chain them and chain them away. And I believe you have done so. Amen. So Amen. There's, there's, there's one seated right there at the heart. One man say, hey, to fiakwa. Hey, not me. I can't even be seated in my heart. That thing that's making you be envy is in there. Is that the mother doing it? That thing that's making you to get angry unnecessarily is that game of CPJ they're doing it. Okay, maybe when I call it demon, it's too, it's too big in your ear. Or clean spirit there. Purple spirit there. There's a spirit seated in that heart. Making us to think irrationally. Making us to behave funny. Making us to tell lies. Ordinarily, if the Holy Spirit is there, we cannot do all these things. It is not seated there. It's making you and I or any of us to do this we are doing. Hey, what pornography? And hey, hate this person. And ah, this person is evil. Make our eyes to do something that we're not supposed to do. That thing is seated right there. If those ones are there, it's chased away. That one is still there. Hey, we are still going to where we are going to. If the sickness in that headache is gone, that one is seated there. That sickness must come back again. So, we are going to cry out. Any demon seated on my heart, any unclean spirit seated inside of me, manipulating my heart, manipulating my mind, controlling my instinct to net your contract with me is hereby terminated. Jesus, by your own self, put your hand inside of me and drag this nonsense out of me. In the name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and pray. Amen. Father, <laughs> Demon of Father, I 
Baba, Baba, Father, whatever thing, Baba, that is in my life, oh God, Baba, Father, you know me better than I know myself, oh God, demon of play too much, and my God, play too much, Baba, demon of a serious play too much, Baba, Father, please, oh God, come and of put it, demon of a, demon of love, oh God, Baba, Father, come and of put it out of my heart, oh God, Father, of put it out of my heart, oh God, that you have to be here. Amen. Amen. If you don't understand what we are talking about here, let me say, let me say something. That demon may not stop you from casting that demon. Out. May not stop you from saying, Holy Ghost, I come, Holy Ghost, I will come. Why are you there? <laughs> oh, it's a very funny thing. It can be in you where you say, Holy Ghost, I come for other people. Do you, do you believe what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> it can be the way I'm saying, uh, 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 Holy Spirit, you are singing. It will just be there watching you. After you have sung, it will tell you, you see just now, when you were singing just now, that sister just now did not sing well. And that's that sister was pretty. Well, just sing, it sing more than you. And if you will just come so. You that just sang now, envy just come. You that just preach now, you call of preaching, your wife just talk, you just react rashly. You that just cast out demons now, that you are supposed to be, to be very calm. Your child will do something, you will see yourself. Rrr. That thing was seated there while you are calling fire upon other people. That thing is so terrible. That thing is so terrible. Many men of God don't know. That's why I said in Matthew chapter 7, verse 21 to 23, I will tell them, get out, walk of iniquity. You can't carry such. You are walking with me. I will come to me, I will not accept you. And I can boldly say, until, unless anyone that that cry out before and say, God, deliver me from such. Everyone have it. That's why you can see jealous. That's why you can see envy. That's why you can see I'm unforgiven. That's why you can see exaggerate. That's why you can see feel you are better than somebody else. He is the one that is doing everything. He's in control. The only person that was born on this earth that never had it was Jesus Christ. Every other person born of a woman had it. Unless such a person is meet Jesus, Jesus will deliver you from, the, from it. Amen. And that's why right. Satan believes everybody must go to hell. That is the power he has. I know believers will not they will because we are shallow, we will not, will not pray for deliverance from such. So, in his mind, everybody must come to her. So, because that thing is seated on everybody's mind. But glory be to God. Today, the fourth day, the same Jesus Christ that delivered Lazarus from the grip of death. No matter how Lazarus was in the far country of death, he called him out. No matter how that is rooted in your heart, no matter a pin finger in our heart, today he must come out. Amen. So I want us to pray. Say, Lord, that thing inside my heart, giving Satan the power to say, I must come to hell. No matter the covenant I have with him, no matter how rooted he is in my heart, in my husband's heart, in my children's heart, in my family's heart, 
Father tonight uproot it even as I break the covenant with him in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and pray. Amen. Father in the name of Jesus, Father in the name of Jesus, Father in the mighty name of Jesus, my Father and my God, Baba, that demon inside of me, Baba, Father, Lord, Baba, that I have covenant with all God, Baba, to bring me to fire. that demon of all forgiveness, that demon of jealousy, that demon of envy, Baba, that demon of hypocrisy, that demon of cyber God, Baba, inside of me, Baba, that demon of evil thoughts, that demon of evil imagination, Baba, that demon of doing the wrong thing at my job, place, oh God, that demon of putting the wrong thing Baba, when I give you Baba, meditation, that demon of not giving the meditation to the rest in the right way. That demon, Baba, of not doing the right thing at my job place, oh God. That demon of praying oh God. That demon of not studying your work. That demon of not praying the way I'm supposed to pray, Baba. Baba. Father, come and dip your hand inside of me, Baba. And uproot that demon out of God, Baba. Father, that demon of God, Baba. Father, not inside of me, Baba. Of jealousy, Baba. Of jealousy, Baba. That demon of people. Amen. Amen. Have you, have, you ever carried, have you ever carried Bible? You want to read? Or maybe you want to do praise? So, so just say you do better, you can say broom and start sweeping. You, you have already handled the Bible already. You have even started praise already. We will just show you. The magician, when we were coming, they were dirty on the floor. You can't you can see how, your house, how beautiful your house is. How can you allow that, that such dirty to be there? You will drop the Bible. You are going back to go and start sweeping. Is that thing in there? You have started, some of us, we, will start, we have started prayer already. You still say, you get off, you just get off, get off from prayer. Start, start dressing bed. It's not that you want to sleep now. Is somebody getting me here? Yes, sir. Not that you want to sleep now. You just start arranging bed. Start dressing bed. You just get off of prayer. That thing is seated there. Hey, don't you see? Hey, James is just called today. You have to eat a uh, pizza. You start going to start doing pizza. It will be laughing. See, I told you I'm, I'm in control. Whatever we eat ourselves as a slave, we are slave to eat. See, all this prayer, we are still going to pray it. It's losing gradually. Amen. You must, mm. you must go finally today. Amen. 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 If we Jesus Christ bring it out, Lazarus, it was step by step. First of all, come and show me where you bury him. Where do I show him? Remove the stone. Is that, is that so? Yes, sir. John 11. They remove the stone. If I say, Lazarus, call his name. Come forth. He came forth. Even when he came, he was still tied. Say, so lose him and let him go. Step by step. So, so is doing us today. I tell you something. If we can be free from this spirit, that made devil to be boast, to be boasting of every soul and that we, we almost go to hell. It's a lie. Amen. Amen. If you and I are free, we'll be free from every sicknesses. Amen. Amen. Why? Because he's the door opener to every sickness that comes. He's one that opens to any affliction. So, Lord is there. No matter you pray, you must dream that bad dream. It's in control. He's going to control your dream world into that country, into wherever he's controlling you to. Whenever they call your name in the covenant, he's the one that helps you to answer. Whenever the throw arrow is the one that helps you to bring it there. So if you and I are delivered,
from that spirit that is seated there, I tell you something. Devil will see you around. Amen. Amen. No, no arrow, no bullet shall be able to enter you again. Amen. Amen. The life of Christ, it will never see one day. You know why? Because there was nothing there that would receive this thing for him. Oh, Father, help me here. Amen. Are you getting me now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It was never sick one day because there was nothing in there that would help him to bring sickness and share it into the body. See, it was not found in him. As I said, the kings of this earth, the people of the earth, come and they found nothing in me. You know why? There was nothing in him that would bring the sickness, that would bring the sin to him. It was pure from the inside. Amen. We can live. We can live without sickness. It's possible. Amen. If we can live without that thing instead of us, we will also live without sickness. Amen. So I, want I want you to pray. Say, so Lord, now the stone has been removed. Amen. Father, with your Jesus Christ, I am begging with your loud voice. Call that thing out of me. You that call Lazarus out of the grave, call that unclean spirit. Unless you believe you have it, that's the only way you can be delivered from it. You can pretend as if no, I'm, 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 an, I'm a man of God. I don't think. No, you don't think. This thing is not about thinking. Your thinking will deceive you. It's spiritual. Jesus Christ, you stone her below the way of my heart. That he had no edge again. Call him out of me and let me be free from whatever he brought into me. Those sicknesses, those pain, those distress, whatever that came with him or threw him into me, let him and all get out of me today. I want to be empty for the Holy Spirit to come in. In the name of Jesus Christ, open mother pray. Amen. Father, I am